Hey everybody, Jared back once again. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmaka. I know I did, got some great quality time with friends and family. And while we're on the topic of friends, my friends over at Spigen SGP um, actually sent me out a package which arrived on Christmas Eve. And among those package, among those goodies in the package um, is the Clear Ultra Crystal Screen Protector for my Nexus 4. Awesome. So they've actually got two. Uh, this one is the uh, Ultra Crystal. Um, I'll be posting a link in the About section down below for you to go and check out both of the screen protectors. Both of them have different characteristics to them, so go ahead and pick which one best suits you. But in this case, we're going to be taking a look at the Clear Ultra Screen. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the Clear Ultra Crystal. Ugh, I keep mixing up that name. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at why this is such a great uh, screen protector. So some of the features, if we can see there, uh, features... Ultra Crystal, 25% thicker than previous model, uh, hard-coated to prevent scratches, high-quality enhanced optical film, that's always good, uh, good surface hardness between 3H and 4H, uh, no rainbow effects, which is extremely important to me personally, um, easy to install using dry adhesive technology, which by the way, I'm going to show you guys a really, really, really cool foolproof way to install screen protectors in this video, in which I will most likely be using in future screen protector uh, review videos. Uh, moving on from there, we've got anti-UV ray coated, so that way if it does happen to be sitting on your dashboard, in your car, in the sun, this does its absolute best to prevent damage to your display um, via UV rays. Um, marks and fingerprints wipe away easily because it probably has that semi-oleophobic uh, coating on top of it, um, which is great. Zero interference with touchscreen responsiveness, which a lot of people are concerned with. Premium silicone adhesive bubble-free application, which I'll be the judge of that. Um, Non-tacky adhesive will remove without leaving residue, which is also important. All right. So, um, you've got instructions on the back here, which you can see. However, again, I'm going to show you how to do it my way. So, let's go ahead and get started here. I'll go ahead and refocus the camera. All right. So, um, actually, I'm probably going to need a knife to open this up. So, let's get this out here and see if I can open this up. Maybe this might be not the best way to open it up. I'm going to cut my hand. I'm going to cut my hand. Okay, give me a minute to open this up. This is ridiculous. Alrighty, I got the top off. That wasn't that difficult. I just needed to cut it. Let's go ahead and see what we got. What do we got? What'd you give us, Spigen? Alright, so we've got our authentication code. We have our uh, dust removal stickers. This is actually, these are used for when you're applying it and you happen to see any dust on the actual screen protector, like on the sticky side of it. Um, you can actually use these, peel these off, and you can actually start pressing it against those areas that you're seeing the dust on, and that should remove it. However, again, using the method that I'm going to show you right now, you shouldn't have those issues, so we'll put that off to the side as well. Uh, of course, we get our higher quality uh, microfiber cloth they give us, which is important. We do get, whoops, a squeegee. And this one is actually a lot thicker than a lot of other squeegees that I've gotten in um, previous screen protector packages from uh, other companies. So that's nice to see. And, of course, the star of the show, the screen protectors. And you actually get two. Awesome. So if you bung up the first one, don't worry. You got another one. If you, if the first one you did successfully attach um, gets bunged up over time, ha, you've got another one. And the prices. You guys are going to have to check out the prices for these because um, for premium quality screen protectors, you go to a brick and mortar store to some sort of a retail booth somewhere you're paying 30 bucks for a premium quality screen protector. Um, these ones are around $15. I think it's like $13 actually. But um, anyways, they've got great, great prices on some of the world's highest quality screen protectors from Spigen. So just keep that in mind. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way here. Need that out of the way, that out of the way. And all we're going to need is the screen protector, the squeegee, and the microfiber cloth. So this is going to be a little bit difficult for me to do behind camera. Um, okay, one other thing that I wanted to mention is you're going to need some scotch tape. Scotch tape? What the hell are you talking about, Jared? Just shut up and wait and let me finish. So first things first. Um, now what I recommend everybody doing before you apply a screen protector is actually turn off your device for, oh, I don't know, at least 10 minutes, okay? Um, the reason behind that is because when your device is warm, it warms up the display. And if the display is warmed up when you're applying a screen protector, it actually um, um, encourages air bubble pockets. And that's always a pain in the ass to get out at the end of the process, right? Now, furthermore, if you wanted to, you could also, like I did, toss this in the um, freezer for about 
I don't know, 60 seconds. Um, and that should cool it down enough for you to successfully apply the screen protector with um, uh, minimizing the amount of bubbles that we'll end up dealing with. Uh, also, you're going to want to wash your hands. You're going to want to make sure that no oils or anything are on your hands because that will get trapped in the um, underneath the screen protector and will also um, encourage bubbles as well. Okay. So th those are some things to note. So we're going to want to clean this really well. Um, if you have one, getting a alcohol wipe is the best way to do this. That way you can remove any grease that might be um, over top of the oleophobic coating that's already on your device because you're going to want to make sure that you remove that as best you can because that you know oil also encourages bubbles. Um, all right, so that is pretty clean. Now what we're going to do is we take some pieces of tape, probably four is a good number, um, and make them about that long, okay? And get those ready and just kind of tape them. Uh, see where I can tape them here. And just tape them onto like the side of your desk or table or whatever, okay? So get a couple of pieces of tape here. Alrighty, straighten those out. I'm just putting them off to the side here out of frame because it's the only place I have room to do it. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what the hell is he going to do with the tape? And this is going to blow your mind. I can't take all the credit, or any credit for that matter, for this method. Um, if any of you are interested where I actually got this method from, the video on YouTube where I got this, mes uh, this, this method from, let me know. I'll just post a link in the About section below for you guys to go look at it yourself. Um, other than that, you'll be seeing this method right in front of you here. So, um, take it out of its little uh, sleeve here. Okay, and we're going to want to learn which one's the front and which one's the back, which it is clearly labeled here. You may not, I don't know, can you see it against the white there? Back, front. Um, so which one, which side is it on here? Okay, so that's, okay, so that's the front. So what you're going to do is we're going to line this up perfectly. All right, now I might have to get off camera here so the audio might be a little bit off and I might actually need some more light so you're going to have to excuse the um, odd lighting that I have at the moment. And what we're gonna do, and my hands might be a bit shaky because this is actually the first time I'm attempting this. So you grab your first piece of tape, which apparently took off some of my desk with it as well, just now. That's fantastic. And we're gonna line this up. Now, it's probably best to line it up with um, any of the holes, obviously, right? So uh, you'll notice that it's got a cutout for the camera and the proximity sensors as well as the um, uh, the speaker grill, but this particular screensaver, is, or I'm screensaver, screen protector is actually cut out a little bit smaller than the display uh, because the Nexus 4 actually has curves on it. And so to prevent the edges from lifting up over time, they've actually made it a little bit smaller, which is good because especially if you're putting on cases, those cases will lift those edges, all right? So anyways, now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and actually do this. So we're going to get this on there just perfectly, and there's, I mean, this display is already slippery as it is here. So you're gonna have to give me just a moment here. All right, so <laughs> I've kind of rearranged things here just so I can get in there better. It takes a little bit to sort of line it up perfectly on your display, especially considering the Nexus 4 doesn't have a whole lot of front facing cutouts like buttons and stuff like that. Um, anyways, I got it on there as best I could. And you'll notice though that I put the piece, uh, piece of scotch tape over top of the screen protector. And then once I lined it up perfectly, I taped the rest of it to the desk. And what you do from there is you simply go like this and you wrap it around that way and you pull your device through and that puts the tape on the back side of the phone holding the screen protector in place. Then just continue on by putting the pieces of tape um, through the rest of the screen protector but on one side, okay? So then we're gonna go like that, put that there, put that there and go like this. That was a terrible job, but it got stuck, so that's good. Go ahead and do that a couple more times. All right, so now as you can see, we have all the pieces of tape loaded on there. Um, it's all stuck and everything like that, so it's good to go. Everything's lined up. And now you may remember that you already cleaned your display. However, you're going to want to make sure that it is, yet again, still clean. So just go ahead and grab that little sticker there, flip it up a little bit, and keeping in mind that the um, protective layer on the screen protector is still there, uh, you know, covering the adhesive part of it. And during the installation process, there's a really good chance that you probably got a little bit more dirt in there, a little more fingerprints, maybe not a whole lot, but just enough to count. So you're going to want to kind of go over it again, just make sure that it is in fact clean, which it is there. And from there, what we're going to do 
is start removing the uh, adhesive piece, but just a little bit. So we're gonna bring this up now. All right, just like so, being careful not to touch the adhesive part, all right? We're gonna peel this up just to about, oh God, I can't get it in the camera, so you'll notice here, getting it up just enough so it's halfway, um, halfway peeled up here, all right? As you can see, we've now folded it in half there, okay? And then what we're gonna do is flip this around and start layering the screen protector on it like so. Now, using the squeegee provided to us, you're gonna start applying um, the first bits of it, okay? Just like so, the first half of the screen protector, all right? And then we're gonna start peeling back a little more and applying a little more screen protector and continue on until we've reached the edge, trying to get out the bubbles as we go. And there's the piece that was covering the adhesive part. So go ahead and squeegee that out and you'll notice that there's very minimal bubbles on the display. There's one here, maybe a little micro bubble there, but that'll all be worked out in the end. So while we've still got the front part um, of the uh, uh, screen protectors protector on it, we're gonna go ahead and work out whatever little bubbles there are left. So like for instance here, there was that little one there, get the edges here, little ones over here and so on. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. Now, some screen protectors, as you're peeling the top piece off, might start trying to raise the screen protector itself. So you're gonna to wanna to use your squeegee to sort of keep that down there. So we go along, you can see. All right, and there we go. So as you can see, there's only very minimal bubbles, as you can see there, right? So we'll go ahead now that that's actually been applied, and we can go ahead and just remove this back piece here, and it just comes off just like that. And then, we just go ahead and finish up by squeegeeing out the rest of the small bubbles. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We now have a perfectly applied screen protector. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you all, so you can see, I can get the focusing just right, and you'll notice that, and I'll use the light reflection to kind of show you here, so you'll notice that the everything's absolutely perfectly lined up. There is zero bubbles whatsoever in the screen protector, completely perfectly lined up. And you can use this method with any screen protector. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to use Spigen screen protectors because they are the best bang for your buck, as well as in my opinion, probably among the highest quality screen protectors you can find on the market anywhere. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and um, fire this up and take a look at the clarity that it provides and see the touch responsiveness and all that other good stuff. So anyways, here is a look um, at the display through the screen protector once applied. And as you can see, touch responsiveness is perfectly fine. Um, going here, as you can see, it's perfectly fine, feels great on the finger. The swiping is just as it was before. Clarity is just as it was before. The screen is just as beautiful as ever. Um, also, again, I want to reiterate that I do like actually the fact that Spigen was smart enough to put, or sorry, cut the um, edge of the film so that it fits within the display as opposed to right to the edge. And the, again, the reason behind that is because the display on the Nexus 4 is curved. And if you have something that goes to the very edge, that curve will eventually cause the film to start lifting up. And as you start putting on um, cases and whatnot, the lips of those cases will start pushing and lifting up the edge of the display, um, you know, putting it at risk to start holding, hanging on to like grime and dirt and things like that around the edge of the screen, which just looks disgusting, um, as well as obviously um, increasing the risk of eventually the protector completely peeling off altogether. So anyways, guys, overall satisfaction is through the roof with this screen protector. The amount of money you're spending, which is very, very minimal, um, the, you know, you get two screen protectors squeegee and all that other great stuff um, this is a fantastic choice for your Nexus 4 the clear ultra crystal screen protector from Spigen absolutely fantastic stuff here definitely I'll be posting a link not only to their website but as well as to the product purchase pages um, for not only this one but the other one they have uh, available for the Nexus 4 as well for you guys to kind of make up your mind depending on which characteristics you prefer or, or find me uh, better suit you uh, again that's it for now guys Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below. Hopefully you enjoyed um, the installation tutorial that I showed you guys. Um, I do plan on using that installation.
animation tutorial uh, sort of on future um, screen protector videos down the road. Uh, but again, thanks again for watching. Also, if you haven't already, you can want to consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. We do try to put out five videos a week. Um, and we got device reviews and ROM reviews, app reviews, and obviously product reviews. Again, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.